down to it, it's my boat. Like, we're gonna go where I want us to go. with a few people before uh, and it hasn't really been an issue but uh, they do call R2's divorce boats for a reason. So. R2ing can be a tough dynamic, especially for your first time when you're just starting to work out how to work together, how to get through the river, different opinions of how to run a rapids or how to navigate uh, around. That's the main thing. Don't ever knock Don't do it unless we gotta go back. Well, let me tell you, I am pretty excited so hopefully the two of us, we can make it through there and get through all these rapids. It's going to be a great time. We'll see how this goes. Almost in an R2, what you're aiming for is to have like a mind meld between the two people where you don't even have to talk, where you're kind of just going and then you're like, oh yeah, left of that rock, sure. Right of that rock, and you don't have to like say too much. But uh, you know, when there's two cooks in a kitchen, it can get a little dicey. Ride that left, uh, left channel all the way down. Well, you saw downstream there, there's a big pointy rock on the left side. You can just barely kind of in that gap right there. What I would do is uh, I think for the most part, as river guides, we all see a line and we all know you know, some of those rapids, there's like a clear line, and those ones are easy, but it's the ones where you could really go a, a multitude of ways. That's what the challenge is. my boat like we're gonna go where I want us to go Now we're still on speaking terms, so. Well, that's shit, man. All right, Lindsay, which way should we go? To the left. To the left, to the left. Yeah, but right. I mean, the water always 